Honestly, okay. I would say there's a lot of different types of library cafe in Malaysia, especially macam local locals with again. But to me, I haven't seen like a fully on library where in terms of macam apa yang owner tu dah baca, they put it at the cafe. You know what I mean? Uh, like they, oh, like no it's like, wonder. Uh, uh, okay, so I it's, it, this whole thing is a replica for my own bedroom. So how you see how it's decorated is literally my bedroom as well. So we're living in your imagination? Yeah, we are. Hello and welcome to another episode of What Now? Jom ada apa? Wow. Katanya speak intro dengan aku lah. Oh, terlupa tu. Memang curi semua, tak apalah. Tak apa. Okay. Tapi Aziz, kita dekat mana hari ni? Uh, kita dekat Gombak. Dekat Gombak? Uh. Dekat mana ke Gombak ni? Kita dekat Or- Orchid ke Orchid? Orchid. Orchid kan? Nah, Orchid. Orchid's library. Yeah. Orchid's library, ya. Yeah. So today we're not at our studio, hmm. so we felt like you know we wanna change the environment a bit, yeah. kan? Macam bosan, and so kali ni kita pergi nak mengopi sikit. Alright. Ada kopi lah. Oh kopi tadi. Kopi ni tak kita minum. Tapi nanti kita belilah. Okay. So before we start, guys, let's give a little intro about One of Jomali Park. So One of Jomali Park is a podcast where we share prominent young Malaysians, right? And we also try to talk about um, a lot of topics that is surrounding the youth, lah. Whether it be from politics, business, um, I guess, books, something that you know we can all feel proud of, right? We we I guess we resonate a lot with nation building, yeah. So it's a Manglish podcast, so korang boleh cakap bahasa Inggeris terus mengikat apa? Alhamdulillah, okay. Kui Allah. <laughs> Mang, it's going to be Manglish. It's a Manglish podcast, yeah, yeah it's a Manglish podcast. <laughs> okay, that's the name of our uh, guest kita ni. Okay, why not introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Diana. I'm the Orchid Library, but in terms of the correct way, it's like Orchid's Library, lah, kan? Betul tak? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Nasir. I'm the father, legal father, <laughs> of Orchid's Library. Is that is that considered a fun? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> That's more of a joke, lah. But it's okay. But actually, this is a fun fact about us. So, like, um, I will reach Diana before, but she just last year to do a book mini series. Cuma tak jadi sebab uh, kekangan masa dengan semua. Yeah, yeah, we talk about that. We went really far. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of conversations of you macam, Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do, yeah, but uh, but now today, finally lah, we got to do an episode with you. At the right at, time. At the right yeah. time, the right place. And uh, where everybody is all here together, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, um, we, we didn't expect to have your dad on, so... <laughs> it was I I had to. We were actually practicing on what to say because you already. Gave no, I did yeah. not practice. You just gave me the message as opposed to, to the questions and no, so on. Okay. Basically, he was forced to come. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't libat can me. Okay. No, it's funny because she she sent like the text at like one a.m. in the morning. Like, can I mean I told my dad. <laughs> It was 1 a.m. Yeah, it was yeah. 1 a.m. <laughs> 1 a.m. Okay, that's right. Yeah, because nice. it was before bed and I was like, okay, I'm going to bring my dad. Up last minute, it's okay. No, 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 no. Then the next day, he was like, I'm going to the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he, he knew about the podcast back quite early. Juga, he asked so many times, like, who you guys were, uh, like, why is it about, you know, that. So I explained and he didn't really understand. Then I explained again. He's like, okay, what are you going to talk about? Mm. Then the day be when you send me the, all the segment, to, and mm. that's when he's like, okay, so you're going to say like this, different than anything. Oh. And I'm like, you know what? How about you just come, you know? Uh, it's a nice day, excited juga lah. But yeah. no, not really. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, don't, don't humble brag. Okay. okay. Just say yes. Sabar, sabar, sabar. <laughs> is it, no, it's just like uh, a view from a, uh, as a father. Um, it's just like I just want her to be herself. That's all. Because mm. mm. you I'm cannot try to immediate like trying to be chari or line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of like a people pleaser as well. So much like I want to be much and the best person. That's when he triggered me. He's like, "Why are you being fake?" I was like, "Okay, sh- that hurts," you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was trying to help me out on that lah. This one is like my, you know, those anjing yang macam guide people. Why anjing? So sorry, no, no. I mean like okay. the comfort, comfort animal. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ada uh, okay. So sebelum kita go get into the questions, so 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 you know, let's just uh, into like I want to know about you guys better lah. So you guys, so you are a cafe owner. Cafe owner. And also an SPM holder as well. SPM holder as well. And yeah. you are from RMC, right? I was in RMC. Yes. You were in RMC. So really cool. Actually, I actually had plans to go there at some point. Masa form three. In the yeah. connection. Yeah. But tak dapat lagi lah, because I because uh, you're too tall. No, um, I had an injury with my my leg. Oh, okay. Uh, so macam tak dapat lagi. Medical dah kena, maksudnya medical kena tenang apa? No, um, 
because I of your sports. I, I didn't apply foot because memang it was actually macam I had a surgery on my foot wound so macam it took quite some time to recover from. So I was the last batch for uh, yang yang dapat uh, last batch yang uh, contracted to military. I was also the last batch tingkatan satu from one. Oh. 1982. Oh. Mm. After that, it was form four. Yeah, form four, form five, form six. Yeah. He had to suffer a lot yeah. at that time. So, so many stories. So many stories. <laughs> so many stories. Okay, maybe, maybe we can reveal some later. Later, later, later. 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 Yeah, then yeah, the yeah, dad yeah. joke will come out. Looking forward to it. I will. We'll see what type of dad jokes. Okay. Maybe sure. I can bring my dad jokes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's a, it's a dad battle. Oh okay. Go. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not a dad though. <laughs> Okay, but um, all right. So let's start with the first question. Okay, so as far as I know, like I know Diana, you read books, but do you read books as well? I started reading quite late. I started reading when I was 30, uh, 37, 38. Uh, I was inspired by situation of of one of the events that I traveled to uh, to Bangkok, where there's more like twenty thousand people all over Asia was gathered, and uh, we were in the train with uh, a business philosopher by the name of Jim Rohn. Um, then I, I I don't know just balik daripada tu June 2006 I started reading like crazy, mm. but mostly to self help. Yeah, mostly self help because, because I know uh, as a person yang lepas SPM I was in the military all the while. I oh, part of the reason why I masuk military and during that time kita orang dari military uh, RMC means scholarship was changed to uh, loan, so three quarter of my batch memang masuk military masuk askar. And I joined the Navy. I thought macam nak shortage tak nak belajar lah. Because I dapat uh, abang satu uh, apa ni dekat UITM Shalam nak ambil town planning. Oh, town planning. Town planning, ya. Yeah. But I macam tak nak. Because kami semua sekolah tentera, semua jantan. Uh, and then uh, masuk Navy tu kononnya nak skip belajar. And when I masuk Navy, I didn't know that the first three years nak uh, masuk Navy, we had to speak English normally at all. Wow. Every word keluar, Melayu, 50 sen kena find. Macam tu, right? Tempat kata. Oh, why is that? Yeah, uh, they, because everything is international language. It's in in night subject, semua English. Admiralty manual, man navigation, volume one, volume two, all this semua English. I see. Tak ada nak sport question nak keluar tak ada. So it has to be like, macam tu. Uh, so when I left the armed forces, I went for interview. They really thought that I've got this English degree lah, apa benda belajar. I kata, no, I'm just SPM. And how the hell you belajar dapat your English is so fluent? I said we were banned to speak Malay for the first three years. So after 13 years, somehow you become better. Uh, so Alhamdulillah. But when I went, uh, my first interview when I left the armed forces was uh, blooming the advertising. Uh, that's how I was recruited. Uh, gaji was obviously higher during that time. Uh, so being an account manager, I learned to, to actually service a lot of clients like the RBA come so on. Hello, Diana. Mm. Diana pula kalau in terms of reading, right? In terms of reading, it was not I... Me. Yeah, it was it was not you. It was yeah. actually like I said before to you during the BTS, right? Mm -hmm. I was basically forced to read newspapers since I was like four to five years old, four. or four four years old, or yeah. five years old too. Your yeah, newspaper, yeah. my grandfather, mm -hmm. our yeah. one, uh, oh. Tan Sri Chek Mat No, he passed away due to cancer now, but he was the one who every time that I uh, kena baca buku semua tu, he's like, okay, baca newspaper, then you have to tell me what what uh, what happened in in the newspaper, yeah. and I'm like. How can a four-year-old and five-year-old read a newspaper? You know, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, the comic. Oh, comic ni perlu orang ni lepas tu. That's all. Okay, it's best. Far, far, far. But then, as uh, as time grew, I, I I stopped reading for quite a bit. And then when I was 13, I got into high school. I fell in love with reading all over again. It was the time where I was like starting to pick up book, and I'm like, oh, I think it was kind of like my grandfather who sparked inside of me as to But the so English started. pick up banyak because she likes. Dia dengan brother dia, kami memang, my, me and my wife, memang kami memang expose dia movies. Oh. Dia memang dia pregnant, kami memang gila movie. Midnight, apa benda, tengah malam mm. memang. Uh, so, the one that triggered myself, macam dari segi bercakapan tu, from movies, yeah. because it's visually and also hearing as well, yeah. kan? But for reading, it's my grandfather. Yang tu memang he spark lah, that, that, that. that. You know, that's that, such a grandfather thing, you know? Yeah. Dan abang, surat abang. Dia tak yeah. pernah turun kat anak dia, turun kat cucu lah. Cucu dia. The National <laughs> Geographic punya yeah. magazine, stuff like that. Yeah. That's like the only thing that I like. And my first dream was to become a zookeeper. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's far off from, <laughs> from being a cat owner. Yeah, cat owner. And uh, to share a bit my experience, um, so about, uh, my dad and my grandfather, they kind of like told me to, to read newspapers every time. Yeah. One is to have a better command of the language mm -hmm. and also just get a better understanding of the world. I always tried to like run away from it. 
Yeah. yeah. I did. I try, but he always find me, and then he would get it even worse. He'll try to. I, I managed to run away. Yeah. <laughs> you have so uh, she, she totally caught her. Yeah. He gave me the dictionary, kamus, and then. Kamus, they want bahasa tebal English Oxford. Uh, uh, he bought me like three three types of the dictionaries, okay. and then he tells me to highlight everything that you don't faham, and uh, he'll explain. He's very well educated uh, to the point yang macam everything yang pelik-pelik itu dia tahu. Yeah. My late father used to be a uh, writer untuk Asian Defense Journal mm. and also his number one uh, panglima tentera darat. Mm. So that's what yeah, you know that like, the yeah, pressure right. of being that sort of role model in the family is like pretty actually yeah. quite there. And the young people benefits it. But, but I guess I'm like, looking at based on your personality, you have like the same personality, don't you think? I say it's much extroverted skill. Yeah, actually. Really? E energy. E energy. I googled. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> was that like last minute? E energy. Okay, you tell me the joke later. Okay, later. Okay, okay. Lambat, lambat pick up sikit dalam lupa lima. Tapi tak apa. Um, but uh, this is a question for Diana. Uh, because I know you were into business. Yeah. Okay, but tapi Diana, like sebelum you habis SPM tu, um, were you always like into business? Were you like, ever, like you know, the business mindset? I was not into business, tapi I was exposed into the business uh, based environment. Because I've been a example like for before they did this kind of business before. My mom, she was a tuition teacher. She had her own tuition center full of like 100 kids. Every day, I was forced to be in that as well. I'm like, hey, I'm the daughter of a tuition teacher. And then my dad pula tu, he had two family businesses. In terms of much of fashion designs, with were like, no matter what, I couldn't run away from it. I was exposed into the business at a very young age. So at that time, I didn't really understand and as I grew older, and like when I was 16, that's when I started to be like, okay, you know what? I'll give it a go. I'll try to fully learn and everything. Um, so, yeah. Right. Well, short term is I'm not into business. You're not into business? Yeah, I was I exposed. Like right now, are you, are you into business? Yeah, now I am. Okay. I <laughs> Our girl ain't got to have her income too. So. <laughs> girl boss vibes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, well, I don't know why I'm sorry. The microphone, sorry. Here. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, okay, that's... Quite interesting people kan Azik Betul-betul betul seorang daripada RMC Seorang uh, Setelah anak dia adalah pemilik cafe Kan Right Then uh, I, uh, It's interesting how macam Apa ni The first few, three years in RMC Can buy something Because I didn't know that No, was was first years of the Navy Oh, to the uh, first years of the Navy Oh, okay, yeah, Navy Yeah, yeah, yeah And then you run Dapat belajar apa uh, Knowing that Diana was exposed to a lot of business mm-hmm. At a very young age Betul-betul yeah. I think it's very really interesting How we go into the second segment lah mm-hmm. Okay, where we talk about Orchid Library itself Oh yeah. Sekarang kita dah tahu dah will be maker. That's a deep. Okay, the demo, the more deep become. Oh yeah. All right, right. Okay, then. Then we'll move on to the second segment of the podcast. So thank you for listening to the first segment. Right, let's move on to the second. Let's go. So we're back for the second segment. Okay, so the first segment tadi dah dah kenal lah siapa um, Diana dengan bapak dia. Bapak dia. Bap. Pak, eh. Melayu sungguh. Kan ada daddy ke? Ayah dia. Ayah, ayah. The formal way, okay. Ayah. Bapak. Bapak. Nenok si ke ayah dia. We were so lucky. Bapak nak dulu kalau cakap, Bapak ni, Bapak kau. Okay, tak apa. Thank you. Macam mana? Kami dah selalu lepas dengan orang, kan? Dah terbiasa. Actually, sesuai dengan program ni. Betul, betul. You're the first parent that we're actually interviewing. Really? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is true. I feel so bad. Yeah, suddenly again. We go again. We should be honored, you know. Yeah. Thank you for rescuing her. Yeah. Okay, tapi so the second segment ni kita nak cerita tentang okay library lah. Yeah. Okay. That's the place that we are at now. Yeah, where you are now. Tapi apa ni? I might not be eating this time. Okay. I propose well. Okay. So now that we're here, yeah, we've been here before. Like, wow, it's good to see you. And we 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 we've had a couple of drinks and we look at the books. I'm really interested, you know, like all the books here are really nice. Yeah, you were fully on jumping on the ladder and then just like... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a very curious person. So like when I see these books, I'm like, okay, what is this about? What is this about? I, I try to find something that, that caters to what I'm like. Yeah, you're also interested in reading as well. I am, I am, yeah, yeah. Um, fiction and both on fiction too, lah. I think he likes to read too, lah. I think he's more of a fiction guy. I saw the book that you recommended me. Oh, yeah, Sun Kanshi. Actually, I just met the author. <gasps> yeah. Where? Yeah. I, when? It was the last... Weekend on Saturday. Was he nice? He was actually. He, 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 yeah. he was a very nice person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but if you guys are into politics, then you'll probably like his thoughts. <laughs> his thoughts, lah. <laughs> but but um but the book is itself isn't really political, lah. Mm-hmm. The book itself is really just talking about underrated, uh, the underdogs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the how the ordinary Malaysians defy the odds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So it was very, very interesting. Very deep into the political world. Yeah. Exactly. And well, it's not really political if you read the book. Like, only like one or two. I still yeah, have the photos that you sent oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and nice. I saw one in Kirigunia, the one, yeah, the fantasy one, but now the gambar, awesome, gila, yang the fantasy one. Beyond this, beyond this. Ah, beyond this, yeah, yeah, I saw it in Kirigunia. Ah, the of expense. Uh, oh, my eye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I got that one, can you ask them too? I think I got that one, yeah, I, I, I stayed the S for, for a while. When wow. I was younger, yeah. So I got my English, I guess. Okay, but enough about <laughs> books. Okay, I mean, we are at the end of to read about books, but like, we want to know your story, you got a lot of you know, this is a book cafe, and I actually find it nice to study here, actually, so much. Um, what started this, you know, like, you, you, you graduated SPM, and like, now you're here. Uh, let's hear a bit of your story. What started this whole journey in opening the cafe? Yep. Uh, honestly, it was a dream of mine since I was a kid. And, but the triggering part was actually during MCO. Like I said before, during the first segment. I was clueless about who I am and you know, much in the past SPM and being a student, you know, I, we all have that phase, right? You don't know what to do with your life, you're confused, your identity is gone, yada yada. So at that time, my mom, she actually told me like one thing, uh, because parents kan, dia tahu macam apa yang kita tengah melalui kan? So they were like, uh, my mom, like, she, she was telling me macam, okay, find one skill yang boleh menafaatkan untuk orang lain juga. Not just you, but also for others. I did not know what she meant by that. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> but I tried to follow it through. And I didn't even realize that I was doing it. So when I found the TikTok punya, uh, platform, what? I started to share about my love for reading. It was just basically from my own hobby and passion. So I was like, oh, this book is so nice. This book is so cool. Da, da, da. And I didn't even uh, realize that it would impact for other people to actually enjoy it. So I think that started the whole journey when people dah macam mula Apa? Sorry, I I need Nadi. Apa? Can I can I continue? Her? Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, apa tadi continue tadi? I forgot. It was like a triggered thing. Yeah, a trigger a trigger moment for me because I. Now I know my function. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Mind her, we let you blank. <laughs> <laughs> no, because tadi you were like this. Okay. Anyway, uh, it was a trigger moment. Didn't realize that it was gonna impact to a lot of people in terms of reading. Yada yada. And then when the platform started to grow, that's when my dad and my mom came in because I was also doing another business as well. Like I said, yeah, a bread business. Ah, okay. Yeah, helping people to maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's when I was also writing down my goals. I na buka cafe the next year. Mm. It was just like a very, very much a random revolution for me. I was like, yeah, I was writing that was working, and then didn't realize that sort of thing. Much and kind of like Allah, much and aturkan to my parents. Like we were all sitting in the living room together, which rarely ever happens. And um, they were like, Kak, you already have the platform. You're reading books as well. You don't jump with that one skill that you can find other people. How about we, you know, try to open this cafe together? And I was like, I cried. I was like, how did you know that I want to open a cafe? And they're like, eh, tak ada lah. Macam, it, would, it would be a great idea to balance with our macam, helping more people, interacting more people, yada yada. Plus, so you're able to also meet the people yeah, from your friends you got kidding you. You're reading. Actually, okay. actually you want to ask your dad. Uh, do you remember this? You remember yeah. her crying in that young day? No, uh, she didn't cry in front of me. He oh, cried in front of my mom. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. so, uh, it was like something like um, it happened so, not really so fast because she started doing her TikTok too. Content dia datang 3-4 pagi. So I normally dengar dia gelak susurang, mengilai dalam bilik. <laughs> aku cakap, apa jadah anak aku buat ni dalam bilik kan? And because <laughs> ini, as a, me as a father, bila anak mengilai aku 3-4 pagi, mm. And uh, she was like laughing, and I didn't understand that time. Kata dia tengah edit, tengah try, the, the brushing up her skills. Yeah. And uh, to me, as a father, dengan anti siapa duduk kat sini, apa benda aku nak oh, kelak kelak sesuatu kan? So, and and as, as like you guys kind of doing the podcast and all these kind of things, it was like Something a learning new. progress yeah. for me. I was like trying to figure out the angles. I was trying to look at sini, look at sini, and then cut, cut, cut semua tu. It was just macam that kind of thing. Like hours, went, yeah, hours, uh, hours. Yeah, I didn't like understand around. that time. But uh, I just benarkan aja anak aku tak tidur malam. Uh, lepas subuh baru dia tidur And then dia bangun satu tengah hari yang tu lah. That's why the cafe is open at 3pm <laughs> <laughs> Because I end up buka cafe kan Aku kena buka cafe untuk dia uh. Uh, So that's how it started And then uh, I think after 11 months kot The one video went viral That's how Spark did me TikTok It's Spark, yeah mm. and, and for a 19 year old girl at that time lah 19 kan? 2020 20, Super young Yeah, 19 year old girl getting that sort of macam viral tu It was kind of overwhelming for me I was like what do I do? Oh, and my dad would like, don't be emotional. Calm your ass down, okay? 
And kata macam macam, it's okay, let them, the viral go in, just focus on the positive. Obviously, they were haters lah, macam saya, macam I am annoying, yada yada semua tu kan, but... Cakap orang putih, Melayu tak kerti, cakap orang putih, cakap Melayu, yang tu lah lebih kurang, so... Oh. Yeah, actually, kau tak tak? Yeah, we didn't know, kau tak 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 I, dalam my family, if I balik perlis, kalau I, I orang perlis kan, balik kampung, yeah. bila tersasut cakap orang putih, because I used to be a debater in RMC, <laughs> bila perlis, oh, tak sedang diri, pungkuk hitam, oh, hmm. I was like, ayah yeah, pungkuk, I putih, how can you kata, you know, like that lah. <laughs> So and then I was surprised, I pun kena juga bila balik balik pinik pun balik, dia like Syah, Han cakap apa ni, cuba cakap orang ni. I was like, wow, ha? Han tu, why can I be me, you know? So I was going through that sort of macam benda negatif tu, obviously it got to me at first lah. Tapi slowly from there tu, I was like, you know what, it's fine, whatever. Yeah. Like people tu skerat je tapi focus on the positive. Betul, so betul, betul. from there, I would say that's how the cafe tu was like, okay, you know what, we'll make it work. Mm-hmm. And it was a last minute thing, itu yeah. pun macam Trial and error pun banyak lah nak buat recipe lah. To get Lepas recipe, so we, it took us like nearly 8 months to get the recipe done hmm. because it was launched on 23rd of June 2022. Yeah. We are still new. Yes. Very yeah, new, yeah, so very new. And uh, the publicity was uh, going viral because of the TikTok. Mm-mm-mm. Pergi masuk um, wanita hari ini pasal buku. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Yeah. did not even... We didn't uh, even ask them. They, they, yeah. they, they're, they're orang yang panggil. They were, they came by and they're, they're like, um, we want you to be in this city because yeah. we like need And I was like, Wait, why are you serious? I'm just this girl yeah, from my bedroom yeah. doing nothing. You know, down, lepak lepak, lah, oh, tu kan. Boleh tiba tiba dapat panggil ke Malaysia hari ini, wanita hari ini semua tu kan. And I was like, wow, I tak sangka macam Allah dah aturkan segala benda yeah, boleh ni kan. Yeah, yang relating with so much business, lepas tu raising with these kind of parents, these kind of parents. Yeah. And then of course the whole reading with my grandfather, and I'm like, it's crazy tau when you reflect my life. So yeah. Wow, from once. From one uh, first step to another. Yeah, one step to another for sure. Yeah. And I'm still learning, yeah. Maybe it's not just this. Maybe in the future, other brands are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to, we want to yeah. open like at least 100 yeah. branches. I mean, you have, you have like... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yes, she, she had a, a, a fan from Singapore in Jakarta. Wow. And uh, Sydney, Australia, who came here. And the other one uncle to kata, Saya bawa anak saya because my... Your daughter sparked my daughter to read in Singapore. I was like, what? I didn't, oh, like, I, I didn't understand. understand. Tapi kita tanya, yeah. Encik Nasir tak nak buka ke franchise ni dekat Singapore? I said, I look forward for you to open a franchise kat sana. Of course, okay. That's how kita pun fikir, eh, ada potential, babe. We can fikir, we only thought of this saja, kan? Tapi tu dah, we're not rushing. Because we're still like, you know, new. Yeah. Yeah. But compared to like, you know, Malaysia kan, ada banyak buka cafe juga, kan? Yeah. yeah. So, like, what sets you guys different? Oh, let me answer this. Oh, okay, this is ready. Honestly. Okay. I would say there's a lot of different types of library cafe in Malaysia, especially macam local locals semua tu kan. But to me, I haven't seen like a fully on library where in terms of macam apa yang owner tu dah baca, they put it at the cafe. You know what I mean? Uh, like they, oh, like no it's like, wonder. Uh, okay, so yeah. it's, it, this whole thing is a replica for my own bedroom. So how you see how it's decorated is literally my bedroom as well. So we're living in your imagination? Yeah, we yeah. are. The whole painting, the whole... The, the, main, the menu, yeah. the recipe, semua nama buku-buku punya. Yeah, all names. Oh, faham. Yeah. Basically, uh, my husband's. So, yeah. And it's <laughs> like kalau like tak nama ada satu smoothie tu, nak tak nama nasi. Nasi, which is my best. Don't put my name there. In the book, he is actually yeah. an assassin. So I'm like, wow. okay, you know what? I, I was, I was about to tell you something about Darkling Nasir, but then my dad was like, that's my name. And I'm like, apa lah? You know what? Never mind. We'll just choose another one. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a replica from my own bedroom, and it. It's like mine, I think too. A sharing between the people out there and also mine, yeah. You know what, th- this, this really reminds me of something. Uh, and then too loud? Yeah. Too loud? Never. No. Okay, talk to me. Oh, okay, right. Uh, okay, so this reminds me of a conversation I had with this, uh, with the CEO. Uh, his name is Danny Rahman. And we've been sitting in cinema quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> in a- every podcast? No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's a good friend and also a mentor. Oh, like, okay. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. So, um, he was just giving me an advice how to make your podcast boom. Lah. So, one of, the thing, one of the things that he told me that just share your worldview, right? Okay. Meaning, just share what you know, what you like, and then people will somehow get attracted. And looking by your business, it's true though. Mm. It's, it, it has impacted a lot of, you know, a lot of readers, a lot of people come to your business. So, what will we'll do sell? But yeah, the, yeah, it does. Yeah, the white, uh, how? Okay, now. <laughs> I think I think I think it's more of like a personal thing. Like like if a person likes it, yeah. and then someone else sees it, do you like it? 
they they try it out for themselves and they're like, oh, I like it too. Mm-hmm. You know, like like you know, like friend groups they share yeah. common interests, right? So I, I think it's similar to that you got uh, this concept of, you know, this being your your kind of safe space yeah. kind of. During MCO when I was making all this content, like. I think people were also searching about themselves because it was a new thing. We were not yeah, exposed yeah, yeah. to like the online classes or the online work from home, all those kind of things, right? So over there, people were searching for their own hobby as well. So I think they're reading like a few others, like me, Afi, and a few others of book uh, book creators in Malaysia. We sparked them to be like, oh, you know what? I can the try this, this again. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was that sort of thing. And I met so many people in Atagai Ocean, and I'm like, oh my gosh, stop. Don't make me cry. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but, but I want to know what, what you, um, I put in Chinasi. Chinasi, oh, uncle, 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 uncle. Okay, you know, you got a bop, bop. Uh, that's fine. Wait, wait. Uh, when, you, when, you, when your daughter decided to do a business, and like, what was your first reaction? Like, were you excited? Were you like, were, were you were scared? You, were you? Prepared? No, um, I was not really. I, I cannot say I was prepared, but uh, I still see really rasa um, success too. It has to be opportunity and preparation. So we were prepared for them, both of them, to come in, but it just we didn't know how. Jadi, uh, we still believe that susunan tu Allah yang aturkan. But um, when she decided to actually come in dengan uh, kata ada background tentang saya macam <laughs> lawak sikit kan? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, ada sound effect kat belakang. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. You planned kan? Don't yeah. worry. It was not planned. It okay. was not planned, not okay. Planned. okay. But okay. it smells nice. Yeah, yeah it does. It smells, it smells nice. It smells coffee. Okay, um, <laughs> so was I prepared? No. I dengan auntie was not really prepared. But um, um, we, we were just like welcoming dia nak masuk we were ready to train uh, cuma it took some time yeah uh, it took some time because you cannot expect a person yang daripada SPM no um, education background because I was exposed to that process and that's like the one thing that my mom was saying as well Shami, you need more exposure into this business you need yeah. to follow us whatever that we do yeah. so that's how I learned everything lah right. from them and I'm still learning in progress as well like I'm not even there no, yet I mean, yeah. there's no perfection uh, but this, this actually what I know, like, like you know, like most traditional family mm-hmm. in Malaysia, mm-hmm. kata lepas SPM kan kita begitu terus kuat terus belajar, terus belajar semua dengan. Oh, that, that was, was how that. I was raised. Yeah. Uh, but when along the way, I saw because I, kami, I dengan nanti banyak travel worldwide, so bila kami banyak travel, kami nampak the formal education ni dah tak relevan lagi dah in the, in the, in the current market at the moment. Even Singapore pun dia dah buang dia punya SPM apa O level apa level tak tahu lah. Uh, it's just like when you go for exam. Kena kira manually. You boleh tekan button dari sini je. Google dah bagi tahu semua. Why do you have still nak ikut cara dulu cara angka? No, I'm not saying that uh, tak payah pergi belajar. But there's a certain limitation yang kita kena tengok. Orang pergi belajar tapi ada explore kan dia lagi lebih daripada apa yang yes. ada sekarang. Like Kairul Amri, like he has his own. Uh, I really admire him for how he really went into his studies. Engineer kan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Engineer. Yeah. Engineer. And then he actually used dia punya macam sort of skill yang into sama macam editing semua tu and use that as a part of his business tapi dia tu lah dia ada backup dia sebagai certificate uh, betul tak cuma bezanya I... uh, uncle banyak expose myself because of my education level lepas mm-hmm. with Yaska tu I memang bayar for courses yang involve in personal development yeah. uh, Jack Canfield Anthony Robbins pergi millionaire mindset intensive dekat KL Rich Dad Poor Dad yeah I was exposed to all those things I was forced yeah <laughs> I gave all those books <laughs> tapi dia tak tak nampak sampai dia start masuk involve baru dia start to baca baru dia relate why this why baru dia tahu oh betul lah apa betul lah apa I mean you cannot force by situation because maturity datang through time Ah. Yeah, so I was forced when I was 38 I forced by situation sama juga macam opportunity datang dengan podcast and all these things macam social media yeah. bila MCO hmm. ada orang jatuh my my friends bankrupt business because of conventional business but our business grew 47% during MCO hmm. because why we were involved in social media since 2017 2017 yeah. so bila 2020 to the platform dah ada platform dah ada ah. that's how it also started with you guys during MCO I, yeah. I think it was you you were like, let's do podcast, yeah. you know? Yeah. But you didn't know that it was going to affect you to this time Correct. in terms of yeah. Yeah. opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So, oh my God, they're so proud. We love that. 
I mean, it's funny because like I mean, it's, it was his idea, and then kind of like yeah, yeah no, I want to scrap it, and then and then he was like no, let's do it. And I was like yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he stopped for a bit, and then you had to. It's just to common it. understanding and mutual goal. Yeah. Simple as that. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. The first goal was people yeah. will see you crazy, right? People will say, eh, tak boleh, tak mungkin kan. There will be negative things, but the same thing. SPM, lepas tentera, I was involved with conventional business and then suddenly I'm involved with social media. 47 years old, belajar social media. Dia kata, pa, you jari gemuk because you're old. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. Why, that's why she was, started. Was but I was really to learn <laughs> because it's not my time, but I need to be in their time. Yeah. You guys punya time. Yeah, yeah. sama. <laughs> yeah. And look at the opportunity now in terms of podcast. Yeah, buat with the, with the now crazy, Eri. Crazy, social media. Yeah. We, we have another podcast in black. Keluar terus. Oh, la la. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. we, were, we were talking, uh, we were talking with uh, another guest, another guest, and we started getting to politics sikit lah. And then macam, kita dah teringat apa, keluar sekejap. We mentioned keluar sekejap, sekejap. Yeah. And then, we were talking about how our podcast dah jadi masa politik, and then our cameraman cakap, oh, macam dah tak, tak main, apa, keluar I mean, sekejap lah. Uh, keluar terus. Oh, you go. Tapi tak apa, I mean, we're not, don't worry, we're not going to, Two political yeah. We're not going there. One PM. Yeah. PM. 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 That's that's why that's why you said keluar terus. Yeah. Dia tak dekat sini dia kena keluar. Okay lah. So macam dia kita rest sikit lah macam the the storyline kan. So like yeah. for now up until this point what's like your most memorable moment start with this cafe? Mm. Uh, my most memorable moment at the cafe is definitely when it, f- it was first open. Because like I said, it was very trial and error sort of moment. Like even the drinks, yeah, masih time what cafe too. We were like, jump, yeah, they tak sedap, ada yang macam ice wash and nice, what again? It was very rushing. Ah, tapi you know we were going with the flow. Tapi the environment at that time, I didn't realize or even macam fully like macam understand to lepas benda tu dah dah settle kan? There were so many people there from other other uh, countries. Ada yang masih tengah berada dalam locus muda datang, and all of them were just genuinely wanted to be much a part of the journey. Like. Oh, this is the books that Dinah read at, uh, from home. This is the one that she said about the uh, books is being so fun, being so neat, and I'm like, and I met so many people from that. So at that time, to memang it was full house, literally full house. At the, uh, the, the first three days launched was crazy. It was crazy, and I, I think could really get cramped me. because I I feel like a waiter lah, bagian yeah. tom jangan memang. Memang like socializing can be very draining. Uh, so even though you have you were having so many time, so many fun times. Yeah. Balik tu, I'm like, oh, flat, flat, <laughs> dead. Yeah. But it was very memorable. It was so much fun. Walaupun my time tu kena kena juga maki my mom like, Dana sabar, okay? Tengah buat air ni. Tengah buat air ni. And then, we're like trying to, you know, pleasing other people as well. And meet so many people as well it was just oh, amazing. I love that. Wow. Yeah. I, I think I can I can totally relate to it. When people start to enjoy your stuff. Yeah, yeah. And people, you know, opinion, you tend to have the appreciation and that you're appreciated for what you're doing. And some of them even became one of my friends though. Oh really? Uh, a few of my friends that were in cafe and jumpa the Budaya Nantu kan? Dapat IG tu like, hi it's me! And we became friends friends until now. Wow. So it's sort of like that they are like strangers to friends and some of them are maybe jumpa jumpa sekejap but they still have that sort of impact where it, it was special to me and to that person as well. So it was effective both of us, yeah. Ooh. It was amazing, mashallah. Damn. From, you know, graduating from SPM and then not knowing what to do, buat TikTok kat dalam bilik, lepas tu sampai ke sini, buat cafe, and then you even make connections with people. I think that's very valuable, man. Yeah, this this cafe is definitely a treasure for you. Lah. It is a treasure indeed. Yeah. You know, it feels... Yeah, have you guys watched I Will The Last Airbender? Oh, yeah. The Last Airbender. No, no, not the live version. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 car- the cartoon. But the cartoon, I, I baru start. Oh. Oh. I know, I'm sorry. I, I've triggered a lot of people as well. They're like, what, what are you doing? Is that one, right? Uh, <laughs> fire. Air. Earth. Air. Oh, no, sorry. Hey, hey, sorry, with water. And the boy flying. I did arrow at the pile of it, right? Ah, betul, betul, betul. Ni kan ni keladi ni dulu. Okay lah, tapi... Um, is it spoiler? I don't think so. Wait, wait. Just tell me. It's okay. It's not, it's not, it's not okay. too much of a spoiler. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, I finished the whole thing, right? You watch the live action, right? This is really off topic, but like... Okay, okay. This is really off topic, but like... I've seen the cartoon. Both of us have seen the yeah. cartoon. So, like, we know what our standards are because that, that, that live action is from the cartoon. Yeah. So, like, I was thinking, like, from the perspective of someone that hasn't seen the cartoon, how is it, the, the story to Yang Yang? Up till the book uh, one, Yang. I would say it was okay. I mean, in terms of 
uh, who's the character the one yang sister kepada Zuko tu? Oh, uh, Katara. Katara, yeah. God. Eh, Zuko. Eh, Katara tu apa pun tu lah. Like, oh god. Azula. Azula, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I did see the cartoons when I was a kid lah, and I remember the girl. She, she had a very jaw lines with yeah. the and, and very scary looking. So I had high expectations for her. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I think. I think the only thing yeah, was I kind of like got a bit bothered. I guess, uh, but in terms of the plot, it was okay. Uh, 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 CGI was sweet to me. Okay, but okay. okay. have you seen the music? I've seen some of the the scenes, yeah. and I was like, it's so uninspired. Are you sorry? Why? Can I pull it? Nah, the other part is like, what's up? I don't know. Expectations are here though. Uh-huh, so uh-huh, uh-huh. I think uh-huh. you're not, not they the... changed a few, right? Yeah, a lot. I'm not. Yeah. But, but like, you, you can't really say much because it's a cartoon, and you can draw whatever you want. You can draw official expressions, put it poorly. But I don't think just because of that though. I think because of the storytelling as well, and and the scenes itself. Oh God. Yeah, so much. Um, the animation itself, mm-hmm. like it has those, um, it has those moments where you feel, it it has related to the story. Mm-hmm. So much. Um, doing the live action and doing the scene and then mm-hmm. maybe because I. You guys really love the show, yeah. so it kind of like you had high expectations. Yeah, but but it's what I see like this cafe reminds me of Uncle Iris Tea Shop. Oh yeah. Right. Wait, that's so true. Wait, yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Are you spoiling the story? Uh, not really spoiling the story. <laughs> you said it's a part of the tea shop. It's no ending. It's not the ending. It's the last. It's, it's, it's not the last. It's. I okay, have I no obviously idea. Didn't get it? Yeah. For like ten minutes, I'm blank and blur. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the yeah. fact that they compare. I, I love their excitement. Yeah. Okay, nanti you take one. Then I'll see. Ah, then you get one. But nanti you get one. Nanti kita tu cuci. But but like what, what I'm saying is like Uncle Irish Tea Show is basically like this cafe. Mm. It's yeah. where he meets people. He connects with people with a cup of tea. Oh. I know what that is. Yeah. But from the beginning, you see like tea again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So last night they double. Yeah. Like, shut up. No, I'm I'm curious to see it. Yeah. With the spoiler, I'll he's it. triggered by yeah, that, you know. It's like no, because it's like the, it's like the last ending and the, it's the last scene that it happens there. Okay. Then so better, not. Uh, yeah. better not. Better yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not. Yeah. You even want to see when I think even nineties. Okay, get up. I can see the one who's emotional here is him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. So uh, that's it for our second segment. Now we we've talked a bit about um, your your journey, you know, uh, in the cafe. Uh, we'll be moving on to our third segment, which yeah. we talk about her personal reflection and publicity, like. Yeah. Ooh. That's a that's a deep one. Yeah, yeah. a bit scared about that one. Yep, yep. All right, we'll see you in the third sec. Hello. Can I give it? Hello, no, and welcome. What now? That's the our beginning, lah. Hello, welcome to our third segment. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we were still getting used to this segment things, <laughs> but anyways. Okay. So let's say recap. Segment one, worldview. Segment two, but okay, Cyber. Okay, so sekarang ni segment 3 adalah kita nak cerita tentang personal reflection dan juga publicity lah. Okay, so um, the reason why we add this segment here is because uh, I think it's quite interesting to delve into what it feels like to be famous at a young age. Oh, God. Yeah, um, this is this segment was inspired because I was watching David Beckham, uh, his documentary lah. Yeah, so he was a Manchester United legend. I think Uncle Nasir knows. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, and he was a very, you know, famous player at a very young age. So during the 1990 World Cup, he did a mistake and everybody booed him so badly. Yeah, and that, 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 and, and everybody in England hated him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like for two years straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken, lah. so like knowing you, you were quite famous. I'm pretty sure you also had a lot of like criticisms and also some drama in behind the scenes and that. Right, so we just want to know like your reflections on it, and like uh, how do you overcome it? So Okay. Being famous at a young age. Yeah, being famous at a young age. Honestly, I'm gonna be that person and say I don't consider myself as a famous person, yeah, because I, like I said, I'm just this person that I was making contents to me, I'm trying to find myself in a way, and I didn't realize that Allah took out to much impact other people as well, okay? So when people started to follow me on my platform and I was starting to get known. I guess I would say, I'm going like everywhere, like I touch like everywhere. But in Kinyukonia bookstore, whenever I go there, when I thought that I was going to be just like, I'm okay, having my own time. And you know, people, a few other, a few people coming and there, can I have a photo with you? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. But because why not, right? Because you're, uh, you help these people to impact them in terms of reading. Yeah. So I love feeling that sort of gratitude in terms of like, oh, I was able to do that. Mm-hmm. But being famous, well, I don't think that's me. Kalau ada 
So I cakap macam inter semua macam daripada segi famous tu like it, it was not like it was not in your diary at all I think. Nah, it was not in my diary at all. It was just something where I because she's just uh, yang keperasan lah bila kita lah pergi mm-hmm. IKEA Cochrane dekat dekat Icheras tu. It was like I would be the one yang kata buka dia orang bising-bising kan. Oh, okay, be okay, be okay. Hey, hey, hey. So I was like ini mega mengang ke? And it, they were like Eh, bukan ke? Eh, tu? Oh, aku tak famous lah. Mm. Ni. So, I, I didn't like, even notice because yeah. I was like doing my own thing kan. So, Mil- my dad was like... Military kan telinga macam anjing. Ah. <laughs> I was like, I can smell these people talking about my daughter. Yeah. I was like... And then, like, I'm coming uncle eh. Aku juga tak famous. Mm. Lepas tu, my, my wife kata, Pa, kita ni orang tua tak famous langsung. Bagi dia. <laughs> so, we ended up holding the bag Ikea dia. Yang... <laughs> And we took photos and I love that because I was able to talk to them as well. So it was just kind of nice. Never trust her bila pergi kira kuning yang sekarang. Yeah. It will end up like few hours. Nak turun eskalator tu sangkut kat situ, sangkut kat sini. Kat, kita tak tahu. Woi, kat mana ni? Ya kan? Kita parents ni kat on the way, on the way. On the way dalam highway kat Sunway. <laughs> Memang sampai sampai bawah. From top floor tu sampai ke bawah tu. Yeah, lama because gila. During, because at that time, masa turun the escalator tu, there were just so many people literally like, macam nah, 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 nah. And it was a weekend So I didn't expect that people would say Ha, okay saya beri ke? Uh. So eh, every time turun Ah, ambil gambar Eh, eh ambil gambar And I'm like Eh, aku Eh, serius lah yang tu yeah. So then my dad was complaining But I'm like I met a lot of people Ah, uh, okay hmm. yeah. The drive <laughs> <laughs> But, apa lagi? Uh, but, but you have become like You have become like somewhat a famous Not not, not famous like macam But in the community itself lah Community, yes yeah. That one I would see yeah. It's being a part macam the reader uh. Of course And I would say Mal- uh, Malaysians can uh, Malaysia in terms of reading community, it it was hidden though before. Mm-hmm. But now, if you look at it now, even through the events of uh, popular book festival that Isas went to, everybody was going there. So it, it's growing more than ever. And I think. But she has fans around too, juga. I was surprised. I was surprised. Yeah, macam muda-muda yeah. juga. Tengok ada juga tutu yang aku ni nak yang. I know you trigger ni more. I was like, okay, ada juga tu. Yeah. Okay. The celebration too is just gratitude. I would say. But I still want people to know that macam if I could be here in terms of macam giving more impact to people, then you could be the same too. Because I was just a girl in my bedroom doing my own thing, and you guys, you guys also with the podcast guys like eh, doing your own thing yeah. as well, right? <laughs> and now look at us. <laughs> so, uh, well, she has more success than us. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay. Tapi apa ni? But yeah, but apa ni? But. It's some way pu- pu- the publicity you get helps you connect with people. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. That, yeah. We, we heard that you one of your, your friends now used to be just a stranger that likes you. Yeah, that's some, that's one of my favorite parts about this whole. Uh, I guess I would say the TikTok platform too is how when I meet them and I get to know them, the chemistry sort of grows yeah. and you have that sort of bond. Yeah. Even online, but we're still the same. So I I want people to understand lah, macam no matter how you know level up you are, because what kind you still need to much and be that kind of person where you're human and she, they're also human. Mm-hmm. They also have their own feelings as well. Yeah. So you just need to be bakata. Yeah, I need be yourself like you. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Is it is it difficult though to like manage you know like the like for you like are all your relationships with other people just friends? Because much do you still have that much barrier you got like if there's someone else that comes up to you and talks to you again, is it is it like Do you have this public figure kind of? Uh, we call it a a, a PR a what? PR stunt. Do you, do you have a PR self or do you have like a you're just usually yourself? Yeah, you know, uh, like, mostly I'm myself. I I I. I don't I, think I, so. You added it. Ah, uh, I know. I don't. I really don't. Uh, I I I also you, try too much to figure out that word. Macam, macam uncle, my my father, my late father mm-hmm. is a Tan Sri. Dalam Malaysia ni cuma ada 525 saja yang berpangkat Tan Sri. So bila seorang mati baru bila seorang lagi naik. Ah. So he's he's there in that level. I have never felt I am supposed to be in that area, so I don't want my children also to feel that inferiority of mixing with people yang mm-hmm. latar belakang yang berbeza orang orang cleaner ke apa. Yeah. Like when no. when when they see Orchid's Library, I'm also known as Diana. Yeah, that's, that's why it. there's like yeah. a little hint like Orchid's Library tu pun nama Diana Library. Ah. It's a specific type of orchid uh, in Brazil nama Lelia Diana. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm very smart. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, Orchid's Library. Yeah. So I want people to see that much that I'm still myself like it in you. This is an off topic. I was talking to Hazing the other day. I was about about your library. I said, Jack, you remind me of a Disney character. Who? <laughs> is it Belle? No. Oh, okay, that's too cliche. Precious <laughs> and the Frog. <gasps> Shut the front door, Tiana. <laughs> yeah. I love Tiana. Oh my god. Wait, oh, her name is Tiana. Wait, I thought it's Diana. <laughs> no, Tiana. Diana. Okay. 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 But you. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so I like it's, it's Tiana right there because like the fact that you okay Tiana Tiana yeah 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 But yeah, but it's just it just reminds me of that movie because like you know how she started off you know kumpo duwe, ah, uh, but and she wanted to go to her own restaurant, <laughs> so much I'm okay. So I miss like Tiana's cafe. Restaurant. You know what's funny? I actually sort of relate to Tiana since I was a kid. Really? I really love that that movie compared to anything else. That's why when people say you you remind me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast, yeah. I'm like, uh, like I, <laughs> you got it right now. Yeah. <laughs> He knew this is the connection. Yeah. yeah. We we're vibing here. We're vibing. Yeah. Jo Malepa. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One thing that okay before we go into the next question, just mm-hmm. one thing that like well we me and Hazim agreed. Um, whenever I, when a guest say Jo Malepa correctly, we're like, yes. Yeah. Did I say it correctly? Yes. No, it's correct. some, some people are like oh, apa tu? Jo Malepa. Jo Malepa. Apa lepa lepa? Apa lepa lepa? Uh. Uh. Okay, no like, way. It's such an easy have... thing to say. What do you mean? Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I think we're, we're hanging out with too much old people. <laughs> 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 Tak tahu lah, tak tahu lah. Okay, okay. Tapi macam, um, just want to go to you, Uncle Asir. Okay, so macam, since your 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 daughter is also somewhat famous in her own community, can kind of, mm-hmm. um, do you ever get scared that fame will get into her, like, like you know, one day? Uh, it is something yang I think Uncle dengan Auntie dah uh, got ourselves prepared. Um, kita just plan apa benda yang terbaik untuk dia, yang susun selepasnya, uh, whether it is negative or what. Is something that everybody has to go through. Mm-hmm. So as parents, um, uh, macam mula-mula dia naik the first 11 months masa dia buat TikTok tu, uh, she was crying almost two, three days nangis. Already dia mereka, there were a lot of haters in there yang cakap macam tu, cakap macam ni, cakap, cakap kakak, haters akan naik can review you. Mm. Just love them. It's okay. Unconditional love. You tak boleh expect everybody nak suka you and you cannot please everybody. But in the end of the day, just be yourself. Yeah, it was so, hard for me because I yeah. was a people pleaser. 19 years old, yeah. kena bash dalam ni and then you and then kalau kena kalau yang, yang kita baca yang bobo komen komen tu kalau bukan kita respon kita bodoh jadi juga it was not That's just that tau even macam tadi it was my mistake because i put my email dekat sajalah jadi macam influencer kan tak email then i got like email punya hits they were spamming yeah. i don't know if it was the same person lah yeah. but as a 90 year old going to that is kind of like macam cyber bullying jugaklah kiranya uh, so it was it was so we, we were as parents tak adalah kata kita prepare tak tahu because we don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. but in a way kami pure, clear, jelas, crystal clear that she's going to be on that platform. Uh, so, kami terima je lah nak buat macam mana. Uh, nak kata apa lagi. You make it always us- the best. The end result is Allah tentu kan. Mm, then when the result keluar pun, if it is negative, kemudaratan ataupun semua kebaikan pun, milik dia. So, how do we overcome and react? Jangan melatah jadi emotional tak kata orang tu lah. We will try to avoid that. So, insyaAllah. Yeah. Ha. Tapi one thing that I realize about young people yang jadi famous ni, dia macam, it, it can easily be like, mm-hmm. and it can easily be hit. Oh yes, kan? very. So, sebab macam, people will praise you all the way, like, oh, ni hebat lah, ni. Mm-hmm. Pasti you put one wrong mistake, yes. semua dah. I, I I would agree to that. Uh, it's just like one, uh, it's just like in the military, you buat kerja bagus gila-gila, oh, macam, oh, well done Nasir, datang Nasir, well done. Oh, main hockey tu kerja, oh, oh, kau patah kaki tak boleh main hockey. And it's like shit done, yeah. kan? So um, I mean, community kita is like that. I think some or other are bringing kita dari zaman uncle dulu sampai sekarang. That has not changed that much. Um, maybe ten years from now, maybe it would change for the better, which I hope it will. But it comes from this group of positive people like you guys at the podcast spread this good uh, information, and this information akan some or other ada orang akan berfikir di sebalik itu. And everybody has their own intention. Yeah. So we cannot really running. control that sort of like because sometimes no matter how hard you try to please people, there's a you know, lah orang ni macam betul betul support you. Tapi if you effed up, oh, I was about to say the bad word. If you <laughs> if you messed up one thing, yeah, it's like they were waiting for something bad to happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they are able to hit on you. Oh, I need. Orang to orang, orang akan tak person. tak ramai yeah. orang embrace the pain. Yeah. Dia yeah. akan lagi mengata lagi kan kat belakang tu. And the like, mindset yeah. that I was put up with my parents, so they're like, "Cham cini je, mungkin dia orang tak cukup kasih sayang daripada keluarga dia orang ke, or yeah. something like that." So either way, just love them as a human being. Like whatever they feel, you cannot control it. So I'm better now at handling that lah kiranya. I don't want to react by emotion as much. I'm still emotional, but I don't want to react too much on that. You're 23 this year, so imagine four years ago tu, 
Oh, you always like uh, Kadang-kadang Aizah Fata nak cakap Nak letak placement word Dengan anak perempuan ni you know, not, not easy Walaupun karakter lebih kurang sama uh, She has that gila macam I But she has that uh, Dia punya emotional tu Macam mak dia kadang-kadang mm-hmm. uh, So um, French child Yeah, it's not easy to express And then macam mana nak cakap kan Macam mana nak cakap kan But I have to try And then dia kena olahkan di sini Because through time maturity and so on Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't even recognize myself From like four years ago honestly Yeah Yeah, even for years like when you when you're young like you don't even remember exactly what you did like the wrongs and the the goods, right? So, was that kind of thing. So you're just focusing on the present and that's it, yeah. So so that's really development to the character, yeah, guys. Yeah. So that in some way this fame and and this cafe in somewhat matured you as a person. Mm-mm, indeed, indeed it did. Yeah. And Fa- this podcast <laughs> when you were so me, I think I'm matured a lot. <laughs> <laughs> me? Yeah, yeah, which is a lot. Honestly, I mean, um, one, one, one thing that I'm proud of Hazi, right, is, about it is how you hand, how you handled your first tournament, um, create like handling behind the scenes for your first fencing tournament. Oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. so proud of him. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, that I tell about a fencing. Oh, you, oh, you do. The yeah, 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 yeah. That's my coach now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, was it supposed to be public? Oh, I mean. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Tapi, but, but the reason why I was really proud of him because like, macam, dulu Aziz ni, dia macam, uh, apa ni, he was very playful, very happy go lucky, energetic. Uh-huh. Uh, so macam, when, whenever like, you whenever you think of Aziz being serious, but like, hmm, boleh je. But when he did, when he did, and, and bila dia kata, feedback dia bagus semua, and I was like, wow, Aziz, he did well. Yeah. So till this day. He's blushing. <laughs> He's blushing. Why? <laughs> yeah, you're blushing. <laughs> No way there. Come on, see ya. Okay. I am seen. <laughs> why are you on this on camera? Uh, like a Fuji hat. And that's why he was like this, like focusing on you. <laughs> and I focused on was like a bit smiling Ni, from here. Yeah. Janggut jadi derap ni. Okay, anyway, as you were proud of him? So I was really proud of him that he was able to do, and, and he was very serious about it, so... Um, and then and then a friend asked me, um, what about Anthony? Are you sure you want Hazel to be as your co-founder? And I, I always back him up, because I know that he is he has a co-founder mentality. The co-founder and the yeah. leadership. Yeah, do that. Huh? Who asked you that? Oh, um, I need to know. I need to know. Okay, I need to know. PM to be. <laughs> Dia ada dusta antara kita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like this this episode itself has you know given a lot of flair of flavors. Yeah, four from Kafu Panda four. <laughs> oh okay. Flair yeah. flavors. So the flavors, but I'm not telling you what was the context behind it. You guys have to watch it lah. Oh, that really some movie good. Okay, we should go. Yeah, we should. Okay. But I'm not going to spoil it. I feel like I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. As long as it is not air mata di ujung sejadah lah, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Uh, I heard about it. Asian yeah. punya ni, you should, you're going to cry. I, I cried. cried. Yeah. I was so emotional of that movie. Really? Bloody hell. A bit of the plot. Sikit je. Plot. Shit is good. I think I heard it. I was driving this morning. Anyway, uh, yeah. Basically, you, basically that movie you tak can expect is going to end like that or even start or even the bicara narrative, storyline dia Memang unexpected. Memang unexpected. Like imagine like okay, this woman she's falling in love with her husband. Uh, uh, tapi she was brought up and raised with the family yang macam kaya, kaya, kaya and mentality macam like kau ni kan memang kau kena jadi macam tu lah kan. Mm. So one day uh, when she got pregnant, yada yada, the pasu husband dia something happened, yada yada, and then when she was trying to give birth, the mother perempuan tu, uh, mak 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 dia, mak perempuan tu ambil anak tu bagi ke orang lain. Oh. So she thought that her baby died. Uh, and then something from there mula lah. Yeah, you yeah. should. Very nice. Very well. It's very, it's well very scripted. Sad. Very straightforward and very emotional. Di memang betul betul macam kata pasal kena bersabar lepas tu ini semua online tertukar. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Dan Netflix ada. Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Doing what? Yeah. Mana ni kau dua orang dalam bilik? Dua orang bilik. Pakai golden. Nanti dia nak kira. I'm crying first. He's crying first. Ada. I feel like you would cry first though. Actually, you're not wrong. No, no, <laughs> not wrong. No, no, because at a young age, whenever I, I was watching movies, like when the ending happened, I was always crying. Oh, is this it? <laughs> as, actually, you are, you are, actually, is uh, for a man to cry. I think it's very gentleman. Crying yeah. more. Yeah. 
Bukanlah main menangis sampai teruk because I I saw macam my friends kata, "Si, kau kena tengok cerita ni, si." Aku tujuh kali tengok, tujuh kali menangis. Oh, cerita apa? Coach Coach Otahi. Start I watch the Hindustan movie dekat dalam panggung wayang. Mula-mula dalam 10 minit tu aku dah. Ceklak-ceklak semua tu kan? Ah. Lepas tu dia ah, macam kan. Kalau keluar, everybody kita pergi laki jantan-jantan tu basah baju ni. Kering ni. Hey, what's in it? But you will learn to cry. Eh, ni. Uh-huh. I feel like watch um, expressing emotions is is, is important lah. Yeah. yeah. So, it's not a bad thing. I mean you need to engage with your crowd. Yeah. You mean maybe your podcast session will have like a, a person yang can share the mere journey and story in the crowd and then you you'll be like break down to tears. That will engage your crowd even higher. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a tip there's a top 100 tips lah. <laughs> Baik ustazah. Kira okay, korang kena kau dia watch lah. Nanti uh, satu satu episod tu nanti, 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 nanti. <laughs> dia akan nangis. Nanti nanti. Dia akan nangis. I'm not sure when I'm going to cry but I'm pretty sure if I find a good story I'll cry. Yeah. yeah. Let me know why cry then. Apa? Dia let me know why cry. Oh, yeah. Tak tahu pokok satu di telefon ni. Okay, tapi I think you were going to like um, you know um, end the segment. Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was great. Yeah, it was good segment. But before we end, when I like tanya korang like what okay from a parents perspective and also you you yourself the peter tani for the in the classic group so what advice would you say to the parents out there who want to you know for for their sons for their daughters to start their own business to do what they want to do how would you advise them this okay but so alan mm. so as parents uh, i would say um, let your children let our children ni decide apa dia dia orang nak because kita because kita jangan dominant in terms of deciding on behalf of them oh Uh, dia nak ambil accountancy Kita kata Eh kau kena ambil uh, uh, Kena jadi Kena jadi lawyer Pasal macam ni Macam ni macam ni Sedangkan The reality that Lepas dia orang graduate tu Dia akan face The real life is dia orang uh, We are not going to be In their shoes That's to, so my point of view As parents uh, If they ever decide uh, To buat sesuatu pun uh, Always try to Explore Expose Experience kan dia orang Dengan Huge desire Big dreams To manfaatkan um, Masyarakat Related to Quran dengan sunnah That's all Uh, I think that's the only thing yang I nampak for my side, like parents, yeah. Eh, kalau Diana, like for for all those younger book enthusiasts, those cafe lovers, those business startups, what are you gonna say to them? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Your advice, basically. Oh, Your advice, honestly. Uh, what, what would you like to say? Yeah. What, what should they know? What should they remember? Honestly, from how I learned from my parents, can uh, especially my dad. It's just to be yourself. On it, I don't want you guys to think much I'm being yourself is something where you just have to like force yourself to become who you are. Able to ni kan to talk. And to me that was a, one of the biggest lessons I was grown up to by my dad telling me that. And I want you guys to be yourself and use that whatever potential you guys are doing into so much of whatever your your hobbies into so maybe reading or Uh, tak kisahlah, maybe podcast ke or even doing other businesses with too. That could be your opportunity in this time juga. So we honestly do not know what is Allah's plan for you. But if there's an opportunity for you guys out there in terms of your own likings, why not? If you have a backup in terms of your studies, do it. Do so. Continue to belajar tak kisahlah apa you guys have what. But if you have that one opportunity to find it. So you're able to balance that out and in terms of much of if this is successful, go for it. So I would, that's my advice for you guys lah. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a nice wrap up and you know we have another advice for you guys too. Everybody watch our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so you can listen to more of it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So kita dah pun hujung podcast kita. Dan terima kasih sangat-sangat pada uh, Uncle Nasir dengan Diana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love this. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Yeah, we, we really It was a ner- very nerve-wracking at first but then as slowly the segment goes so much and like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely jom lepak lah. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> very very useful podcast. Yes, I love that word, Jomalepa. Jomalepa. So you guys can follow one of Jomalepa on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and uh, where else? Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Spotify. Kalau YouTube ni ada apa tengok? Oh, tengok aku macam mana? Aikal. Aku dah nak kena siap. Tu boleh lah pakai YouTube. Tapi kalau macam tengah drive kan, nah, boleh lah buat Spotify. Kita tengah drive tu tengah memasak ke, um, mas ke. Suara pun tersedap lah. Uh, Atau pun lain lah. You just put it to the cafe ke. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Free marketing, you know? For real. Yeah. <laughs> so, dengar lah um, wherever you are. And you can follow Diana, dekat mana? Orchid's Library on Instagram and TikTok. And my dad pula, haslina.nasir. Instagram and TikTok as well. 
Thank you so much for the inspiring episode. A very fun uh, daughter father duo. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, we really love it. I love the other duo. Yeah. Yes. No puns we... today. No so. puns today. But you know what? Should we end a pun today? Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. What? You guys watch Marvel, right? Yeah. Okay. This is very dark. Joke. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So what? Why are you ending here with a dark joke? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I guess they understand <laughs> Marvel, eh? Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Okay. Yes. I, I'll try my best to understand. Okay, so what's the difference between Black Panther and Batman? Black Panther is a cat. Okay. What? Bat- Black Panther is a, It's not a cat. Panther. Panther. Limau lah. Species. Okay, species. Right, right, right. Kucing. Okay. okay. Black Panther and Batman. Yeah. yeah. Batman. Bat- the difference or the, the same? The difference. The difference. Hello. Bat. No, no, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bat, the yeah. animal, yeah. and then the cat. No, they tell you something like they're gonna duck. They're gonna duck scared. So dark, oh my god. Why are you feeling this? Batman, bat cat? I no. don't know. Bera, hitam. And that one is the same. No, 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 it's not. The difference is. But. Do you guys give up? Yeah, give up. Okay, I give up. Like I said, I'm gonna order two. Batman returns. What the? <laughs> You know what? At this point, I, I feel... I think I'm too old for that. I feel dumb. Okay. Yeah, uh, I feel so stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. We can, we can even have another light-hearted one. Okay. 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 Another one. Marvel again? No, 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 no. Okay. It's a very, very... Actually, it's a very good joke. Okay. 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 All right. What do you call an old dad joke? Oh. What do you call an old dad joke? This is for you. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Mine is all dirty jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Oh. Granddad joke. <laughs> you get it? I think oh my guys god, are... this is triggering for you, Ma. It's my, okay. My, my my father does not even joke. I'm scared of him. And <laughs> and he's yeah. Okay. He was actually scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll end the episode here. Thank you. And we'll see for more puns in our latest episode. Bye. See you then. See you.